we're going to be working on the sock detail of the pig from the three little pigs pattern and if you don't have the pattern already and would like it you'll find a link for it in the description box below so we're going to work on the little sock detail which is really more like a cuff and I find that it's better to do this part once you've either gone ahead and made the entire body or you've at least made the legs and they are stuffed the best way to do this is to turn your pig over and actually turn him head down so his head is facing towards your body. At round 14, you made back loops only all the way around when you changed from the sock color to the little pink color for the pig. And what we're going to do is we're going to attach our yarn to the back of the sock in the back loop only. So I'm using the same color that I used for the sock and I'm going to go ahead and make a slip knot. And I'm attaching it right back here. It really doesn't matter which one of these back loops, but I like to do it right here in the middle. And we're going to go ahead and attach with a slip stitch and then tighten that tail. And the pattern says to chain three. One, two, and three. And this counts as our first double crochet. So now we're going to just double crochet in each one of these back loops all the way around the sock. And yes, sometimes it feels a little bit awkward working with the toy upside down like this. I finished making double crochets all the way around the sock and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach now to the top of our chain three. And this can be a little challenging as well getting it right there we go. I'm going to leave a decent tail because I'm going to use this to tack down this cuff. And just pull it all the way through. So now you have your little sock cuff right here and we're going to take these tails and we're going to use it to help keep this down. It usually will stay down pretty easily but I like to just tack it just a little bit just to make sure. This is the tail that we use to attach the yarn to and I'm just going to go underneath here I'm just going to go underneath one of the stitches from the cuff and just go right over and you're just weaving it around it's not precise you're just really trying to hide this stitch while also tacking down the cuff and I always like to end at the back so that if there ends up being a little piece that hangs out you really won't see it in the back and so I'm going to trim I'm going to do the same thing with our tail that we used at the very end, just to make sure that everything is nice and neat. And that's how you make the sock detail for your little pig.